it bang bang, wash it bang bang every single day. Wash it bang bang, wash it bang bang, wash the dirt away. Now the bang bang squeaky clean, but there's no towel to be seen. But we can always shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. Wash it bang bang, wash it bang bang every single day. Wash it bang bang, wash it bang bang, wash the dirt away. Now the bang bang squeaky clean, but there's no towel to be seen. But we can always shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We can always shake. What's up today? I'm exposing my you know what I'm saying? Year three teacher. 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 Year But don't worry, I'm still gonna expose my classmates. She's probably the weirdest teacher I ever had. I'll be telling two stories about her because she said some stuff that could have got her fired. But somehow she's not. Anyways, here is what it looks like. Her name was Mrs. D, but we are gonna call her Mrs. D's nuts. Anyways, I was like in year three when I had her as my teacher, so here is what I look like. So basically, on the first day of school, our parents had to come to meet the teacher, and she talked for like the whole time talking about her life story or something. And then she thought it was a great idea to make a bunch of seven-year-olds do like 100 star jumps and. 50 push-ups. She made us do this every single day. By the way, also she was the type of teacher to go up to the boys and say, "I need a big, strong boy to help carry the chairs." The second story is kind of shocking. Like she should have been fired because of this. Okay, so basically, my cousin was having lunch like a normal kid, and my teacher saw him and thought that was like a problem or something. And then this weirdo said, "Get out of the sun! I don't want any black African kids in my class." Like, excuse me, what? He was absolutely flabbergasted, and then she just walked away like she didn't say nothing. Then he got up to go find my sister and tell what happened. It. <laughs> By the way, an African girl heard what she said and got sad and told a teacher on her. Anyways, when we got home, my cousin told my mom what it said at school to him, and she was very mad. She wrote an angry email to the principal, and yeah. So yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, don't listen to racist pieces of crap like this stupid looking ah, cause clearly she's a disappointment. Anyways, bye people. Sorry if this took too long. I was so busy. Guys, what's up? Part two of exposing my teacher's beach. I've been in my new school for about five months, and I already hated it since I got here. But anyways, I'm exposing my current teacher, and I hate him so much. You already know what he looks like, but here he is anyway. He acts zesty as hell, but he specifically likes the girls. There was a crazy rumor about him. I'll tell you what it was. So basically, on the first day of prison, my friend has told me a rumor about him. She told me that he would sneak into the girls' bathroom and pee in their toilets and would look through the pad bin. First of all, I was absolutely flabbergasted because Ireland. She said it so casually, like girl. Not to mention after Miss Girl just said that she just walked away. After that amazing information, I'm in my class. I'm gonna tell you a story that happened like a week ago because yeah. So basically, me and my friend were doing work in class like normal people. Then this crusty hobbit drew a tiny scribble on my book. The audacity of this beast! So I got revenge and drew a tiny scribble on her book. This went on for a few minutes. We started laughing, but like so quiet. And somehow this zesty elephant heard us. This beach stomp grumbled and rumbled to our table, like who do you think you are? Then he started yapping. Bro thinks he's the sheep. After that, he saw the scribbles on our book, and then he went ballistic. Then he started yapping and rapping again. Was clearly mad, but I probably stared into space. He told us to stay in at second break to fix this disgusting mess. Yes, bro said that because of some little scribbles. His exact words, by the way. By the way, I think he expected us to be sad because he was just staring at us for like five seconds, waiting for us to react. Even though the second break in our school is like ten minutes, so for the whole of second break, he had to rub out the tiny scribbles and drawings at the back of the freaking book. Like those is drawings we aren't even in the book. You fat piece of sh. Anyways, we had to rub the things out of our book, except we kept laughing. Anyways, that's all for today. Sorry if it's not really interesting or anything, and yeah, because that's too bad. Anyways, bye. I'm totally not trying to make this longer. Okay, bye. Hey guys, what's a bald man emoji? Part three of exposing my stupid teachers. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I hate. 
school. Anyways, today, you know what I am doing if you haven't looked on my community thing. Today, I'm going to expose this stupid beach named Mrs. B. For privacy reasons, we are going to call her Mrs. Burning Booty Hole. Okay, guys, so this is what Mrs. Burning Booty Hole looks like. She got fired for some shocking stuff I'll tell you right now. Okay, let's get on with the vid. Okay, so basically last year we had her as a substitute like what the flip. Okay, so basically we were sitting in class about to do maths. And then she said, okay, we are not doing maths. I was so happy. And then she started saying we should only be Christian. Like what the heck? Anyways, now I'm gonna tell you the reason why she got fired. Okay, basically she was relieving a class and they were playing tag outside and for some reason she wanted to play. So she was gonna tag him, but instead of tagging him like normal people would do, she freaking punched him in the face like bro. What? And then she had the audacity to say, tag. And I'm not even joking, bro had a black eye for like a few weeks. Okay, now I'm going to tell you the second story. Okay, so basically this girl was showing her work, but it was wrong and Mrs. Burning booty hole got mad for some reason. Then she snatched the paper from her hands and flipping ripped it in front of her. And then she started insulting her like I felt so bad for her. And then she ran outside and started crying. That honestly so sad. First time? Anyways, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, here are some shout outs. You're welcome. I'm sorry, that's all I could fit. But anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed the vid. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Part 6 of Exposing My Classmates. Today, I'm exposing a crusty, musty, dusty, Cheeto-eating fetus. But first, here are some shout-outs because I'm nice. Here's some shout-outs at Gacha Walmart, at Alice F.E. Oliver Lal, and at user Kto1Fu48R. The voice is so preppy in here. Anyways, guess who I'm exposing? That's right, it's Skibidi Toilet Kid. If you don't know who Skibidi Toilet Kid is, then watch this. This fat, ugly piece of crap stole my freaking hat. And now he harasses me on the damn bus every single day. So anyways, I'm gonna tell some traumatizing bus stories. So basically, we were on the bus minding our own business like normal people. Then I got tired of standing, so I said, I'm gonna go sit on the seats. I insanely regretted that. Then he had the amazing idea to say, can I please sit on your thighs? I was very much flabbergasted, as you can tell. But then my friend said, you're so fat, you would probably break them. Bro looked like he was gonna cry. By the way, that's not all. My sister's friend came on the bus, and then my friend told her that he was harassing me. Then she started cursing it out and threatening him when the bus was quiet. Cry about it. It will make everyone happy. At this point, there's going to be a whole document on this guy. Anyways, that's all. Bye. Hey, guys, what's up? Part 7 of Exposing My Classmates. But first, here are some shout outs. Sorry I couldn't do all of them. There were so much. But for the people who asked for shout outs, I'll try to look for them and add them into my next vid. But anyways, you already know what the cringy couple looks like. But here they are anyway. Jump scare. By the way, their initials are K and S. Anyways, I'ma tell some juicy stories about both of them. Okay, let's start now. So first of all, this actually used to be my friend, but now we aren't because of some drama that I'm about to spill. So basically, these are my friends E, S, and N. These are also S's friends. So basically, S was laughing really hard in class for no reason like she looked mental. Then S asked what she was laughing at. Then she said, M laughing at his forehead. She said that as if her forehead didn't go up all the way to the Milky Way. Then she thought it was a good idea to pull her hair super hard that tiny bits of her hair fell out. Then she proceeds to threaten her not to tell you what she said about her thinking she was intimidating or something. Like, girl, you really aren't. Then straight after that, she told in that she should use skincare because her skin looks disgusting. Instead of worrying about her skin, maybe you should worry about that forehead of yours. Then the next day, they started ignoring her and she got sad. Then at lunchtime, she told Kay that we were being mean to her. Oh no, my baba girl, don't worry, I will. Protect your kisses, you magically on the lips, aesthetically. Also, usually at lunchtime, they follow us thinking we wouldn't notice or something. 
also is ask random people on Snapchat if they have a crush on her. Like random people not from our school. And they all rejected her lola lol. Then the day after she said that she will hang out with them at lunch. I will hang out with you guys. I won't ditch you for my boyfriend, you you. Then she ditched them right in front of their faces. And then after lunch, she came up to us like nothing happened and told her she had dandruff and then just walked away. Sorry, I didn't expose Kay that much. I want to make a part two on it. I don't want to make this that long. That didn't sound English, but it's okay. You can read. Anyways, bye roaches.